Now that everything's been unboxed, we're going to be installing the MDT X4 into the Dell Vostro 400. Okay, we're going to actually get into the installation process of the Galaxy MDT X4 into a Dell uh, Vostro 400. First thing you're going to need to do is open up your case. Once the case is open, if you already have an existing video card, such as I do, you're going to have to remove that one and replace it with the new card. For those users that have an uh, onboard video card, um, you'll want to disable that onboard video through your BIOS and that wouldn't be covered in this particular video but if you follow your owner's manual of your motherboard that should tell you how to do that fairly easily. Uh, basically what I'm going to do right now is take this old card out and install the new one. This is the old card. And here's the new one. When you install it, you want to make sure that the heatsink is uh, on the bottom. And just line it up to the PCI Express 16 slot. And you should hear a click once it locks in. Now I'm just going to go ahead and button it back up. Okay, now that the card is secure, just go ahead and put your case back together. Here's the two DMS59 ports on the back of the new card installed onto your machine. And these are your cables. And these are fairly simple to install. And I'll show you how to do that. All you need to do is basically line it up, plug it in, and tighten it in. Add the second one in there. Now if you do have multiple PCI Express ports on your motherboard, you want to choose the one that's closest to your actual CPU because that's usually the fastest. Now that these two cards are secured in, you can start installing your DVI cables to each one so that you can power up your monitors.